Hey everybody, it's Sandra Deluxe and today I'm doing this natural, not cakey makeup for problem skin. I asked on my last video what you wanted to see and you said natural, so here it is. As I've mentioned in my other videos, I do have an allergy to the sun, so I have rashes on my face right now. So I'm gonna start with the Gleam by Melanie Mills Peach Deluxe Body Radiance. It's been restocked for the final time, and I'm gonna smooth that all over my skin. This is super hydrating, and it's going to help to keep my makeup on all day evenly. Sometimes with textured or uneven skin, foundation can come off in blotches, so this keeps it nice and even, and the little reflecting bits help to blur the skin. Next, I'm going to go in with my Pro Longwear Foundation in NW43, and I'm going to smooth that on all over my skin as well. I'm actually using only three pumps. Usually, I'm like a five to six type of girl, but I'm trying to just have a thin veil of foundation on. I don't want to put too much because sometimes when you have textured skin and you're doing the most, it can actually enhance the texture and make it look even worse. So I'm making sure that I'm really smoothing it on and smoothing on a very thin, even layer. If I wanna add another pump, you wanna start in the center of your face and then pull it outwards, whether you're using your fingers or a blender or a brush, whatever you wanna do. Just making sure that it's nice and evenly coated all the way through. I'm also gonna blend some on my neck because my face is so pale because I never tan it because this happens. Next, I'm gonna take my Studio Finish Concealer in NW25 and I'm gonna take this fluffy brush. This is my Morphe M512. It's for powder, but because it's so fluffy with a little bit of density, it's going to buff on just a small amount of concealer. And I'm gonna use that just below the lash line. I don't wanna go right up to the top because my skin is rashy underneath my eyes and sometimes putting on too much concealer right underneath your eyes can make it look a little bit uh, cakey. So I'm gonna use whatever's left over on my brush to go in the center of my chin and center of my nose. Next with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Illuminator in bronze, I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm gonna buff it on the highest points of my face to give a little bit of radiance. If you have a lot of texture on your skin, you wanna take it a little bit easy on the highlighter. Sometimes it can make the texture more visible. So I'm using a very thin highlighter with lots of shine in a color not too different from my skin tone to add a little bit of light and I'm laying it into the skin. Sometimes a powder doesn't lay into the skin the same way as a liquid would, so it can kind of enhance texture. So I'm using a liquid for today. Next, I'm gonna use my Gingerly Blush by Modus Cosmetics, and I'm just buffing it on the apples of my cheeks, and I'm pulling it back for a bit of warmth. If you have redness in your skin, using a little bit of blush in an orange tone can help camouflage it rather than enhance it. And I'm gonna take that same color and go right underneath my lower lash line just to give a little bit of a healthy glow. I'm also gonna buff just like the smallest amount into my creases. Well, actually, just above my crease to add a little bit of warmth and a healthy glow. Next, I'm gonna take the Rimmel London Match Perfection Silky Loose Face Powder, and I'm gonna just take the smallest amount and put it right in the center of my forehead, around my mouth, kind of where my smile lines are, and over the centers of my cheeks, just to camouflage any pores, and to take away any of the shine from the um, highlighter. I want the highlighter to be radiant in certain areas, not areas that'll make me look oily. Next, with my MAC, Dark Deep Mineralized Skin Finish. I'm going to buff that across the nose, across the forehead, and just lightly across the cheeks. I did over bronze my nose a little bit, but I'm gonna correct that later in the video, you'll see. And I'm using this more for adding warmth to my skin rather than contouring, and I'm kind of doing a C shape from my forehead to my cheek. And I have a little bit of dark marks on my cheek from my rash, and I'm letting the warmth of the bronzer correct it rather than going in and color correcting and adding more product. Next, I'm gonna go back in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Illuminator in bronze, and I'm just going to highlight inner corners of my eyes and on my lid. And to kind of set all the powders I just put on my skin, I'm going to go over top with the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist. This is just going to settle all of the powder. For my natural eyebrows, I'm going to take the Tarte Amazon Clay Tinted Brow and I'm going to comb my brows upward to fill it in a little bit. This is going to add a little bit of body to the eyebrows and just show me where my eyebrows kind of start and stop. I'm making sure that I'm combing them in the way that I want them to sit. 
And then I'm gonna take my MAC Dip Down Fluid Line and I'm gonna just fill in the tails a little bit and any areas where I see gaps to enhance the shape a little bit. I'm keeping it quite sheer so it matches the kind of color that we did with the Amazon clay. I don't want it to look super filled in and snatched like an Instagram brow. I'm just kind of filling in what I already have so it's a little less patchy, but I want it to be nice and sheer looking. Again, just filling in any dips or any patches and moving that product through. I'm using barely anything on my brush. So this is where I kind of corrected my nose. I noticed I bronze a little bit too much, so I'm taking just the smallest amount of concealer and I'm highlighting really close to my nose, which is going to slightly contour the nose without actually contouring putting that right over top of kind of my rashed area. My nose is a bit swollen right now, so bringing the concealer close to your nostrils will help to minimize the shape. Next, with my ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Overboard. This is a metallic brown with a little bit of color and quite a bit metallic. I'm going to draw a line along my lash line and give it a good finger blend. This is something that's going to move with you, so it'll give you depth along your lash line, but it'll catch the light, so it's not like a super intense line. Then with the Rimmel Wonder Lash Waterproof Mascara with Argan Oil, I'm going to do a very generous coat on the top and bottom lashes. I don't have much lashes, uh, but this is a natural look, so I'm going lash free today. Next with the Lasting Finish Stay On Contouring Lip Pencil by Rimmel in the color Spice, I'm going to color correct the outer corners of my lips, and this is kind of like a peach nude shade, same as my lip color, and that's gonna add a little bit of shape. This is also super long wearing, so I want to make sure that my lip color is going to stay on all day. Follow Going up with the Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color, also by Rimmel London. This is in the color Rosetto Liquido, I believe. I'm going to put on a small amount and buff it into my lips for just a little bit of color. Can't really tell I'm wearing something, but it has a nice flush of color throughout. So that completes the look. I've used minimal product. I haven't tried to totally mask my skin. I have a rash, I'm letting it somewhat show. Not everybody has to walk around looking like an Instagram model all the time. If you have troubled skin, sometimes smashing a bunch of product isn't the answer so this is a light way to feel refreshed and beautiful without masking it all so thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to share subscribe and follow love yourself skin flaws and all and stay pretty and I'll see you guys again in the next video take care